don't bring me down. Don't, 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 don't bring me down. Hi guys, I'm Shailene and you're watching Video Brunel. I am so excited to welcome the hitman and her to Brunel. How are you guys feeling tonight? Good, good, yeah, good yeah. excited. Yeah? Okay, um, so is this your first time performing in Brunel? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It was our first uh, time performing at a university, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys have a good time. I hope I you have a good will. time. Uh... Yeah, and hopefully you come back after a performance. <laughs> um, so how did you guys get together? Um, how did you become the Hitman and Her? Um, we all went to the same performing arts college oh, okay. at different stages, so we're all different ages. Uh, what college is that? <clears throat> it's called the Miskin Theatre, it's part of North West Kent College, excuse me, which is where we're from. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and we all studied music, apart from Tom who did acting, uh, at different points um, and all knew each other through a group of friends of the college and then, yeah. It started off, we, we just had a, a gig uh, that we needed some musicians for, it was a big charity gig that we wanted to do and we all just had such good uh, good fun that sort of four years later we're still at it and, uh, and getting to play amazing sort of, you know, part, you know parties for, for cool people. Um, all over the world really, we you know, been to Italy and stuff doing gigs there, so it's been really fun. What can we expect today? What can the Brunel crowd expect from you guys? Um, we're doing, trying to do, we do songs from every genre, we try to, okay. except from like maybe metal. <laughs> Um, we give it a go. Yeah, we give it a go. If there's a request, we'd give it a go. <laughs> um, so we're playing sort of our most, well, some of our the more recent stuff, but basically just all the stuff that's hopefully going to make everyone dance. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm guessing you guys just kind of listen to a lot of music <coughs> to find inspiration. Is that what you do? Yeah. Well, it's it's about because there's seven of us in the band. Right. It's, it's about finding good music, but also music that is. Uh, that suits our musicality as musicians okay. so so there's no point in sort of if a song uh, that we all really like has just got it's just like acoustic or something it's not going to work but if there's this like a big sort of, like Bruno Mars is killing it at yeah. the moment like with his band and, and like the Justin Timberlake of the world and, and all of these people their bands are so accomplished and we're mm. trying to take uh, arrangements the heightened arrangements that these artists are doing live and trying to bring them to the to the people, uh, sort of, you know, at Bruno and, and, and venues like that, and it's, it's working like dance music, you know. It's, oh, going, it's yeah. going for a really good live transition yeah. at the moment, and we're trying to jump on board with that. to say give me three words to describe the band what would it be um big got a big sound loud <laughs> yeah loud, loud. Uh, love it loud <laughs> love it loud uh, and one more like legit i don't know it's a bit cringy but i just i, we, I think we try and yeah <laughs> We try yeah. and keep it like legit and, and, and sort of yeah. current. And yeah, that that yeah, works. Yeah. So what, what <laughs> can we <laughs> what can I, we I expect been... from you guys in the future? You know, just in case you come back to Bruno. Or, um, I think or we there. we like to try and surprise the audience. Okay. So playing a song that you wouldn't expect a, to hear a band playing, oh, like okay. something that's more electronic or sort of like live dance music oh. that you would. You'd expect there to be a drum machine or just guys on keyboards. Oh, okay. And try and sort of, um, yeah, keep it really current and and do things that you know you wouldn't I expect a band to be doing. In, in the future, we're gonna continue on these same trends, and um, we're putting nights on in London that you know sort of. Our last one, it was amazing. Like 400 people like rocked up, and you know, totally unexpected, and. Mm. Uh, 
it was such a good you know party feel that we're gonna you know every sort of couple of times a year we're gonna just uh, do big events in London. So my last question for you guys is uh, so random, but if a banana, <laughs> if, a, if a banana had a different colour, what would it be and why? You know carrots used to have a different colour. They carrots did? used be to be purple. purple. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Learn something new every day. It was day. like some king or something who had ginger hair and he was like, make them orange. Oh. They did it. So, um, I think that I I think <laughs> I'm gonna go. In your question so, with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with purple. It's, uh, I I think because today first gay marriage it'd be a rainbow banana. Absolutely, <laughs> all the colours. And imagine the fun you'd have on today of all days. <laughs> rainbow with a rainbow banana. Okay, so we've got purple and we've got rainbow. Okay, that works, guys. <laughs> so I've been Shailene, and thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>